Module 4.5, Standing Waves in a Tube Closed at One End. So we have looked at a tube open at both ends, a tube closed at both ends. We know that a tube that is open at both ends have nodes on either side. A tube that has both ends closed have antinodes on each side. So now when we open up one side, the closed end, as we said, always has an antinode, and the open end is always a node. With both sides open and both sides closed, our fundamental frequency was half of a wavelength. With one side open, our wavelength is a quarter of a wave. Let's think. This. This is L. This is L. This is L. Sorry, this is not to scale. And this is L. This is the wavelength. It equals one, two, three, four times the length. So for a tube open at one end, the wavelength equals four times the length. Open at both ends, closed at both ends, two times the length. Open at one end, it is four times the length. So if we go back to F equals V over lambda, for a tube open at one end, frequency equals V over 4L. That's the simple formula. If we want to be accurate about this, that means that we have to add uh, end correction. And so we would add 0.61R, but only once because we only have one open end. Now, we could leave it there, but there's something very interesting about this. First of all, let's think about how does this affect the frequency. If we have a tube open at both ends, we have F equals V over 2L. And just to make the math very easy, Let's say that it's 3.43 meters. So we have 343 over 2 times 3.43. This would equal 50 hertz. If we change the 2L to 4L, this becomes larger. If this is larger, this becomes lower. How much? Twice as low. So for this, 343 over 4 times 3.43 would equal 25 hertz. That's one octave lower. Here's my infamous blue tube. Open at both ends. Closed at one end. By closing it at one end, it drops it one octave. So let's look at one other interesting thing about a tube closed at one end. So for our first harmonic, we have this. We have a quarter of a wave. A tube closed at one end is known as a quarter wave resonator. So let's go to the second harmonic. This is F1. This is F2. 
So here we have a quarter of a wave. Let's go to where we have a half a wave. So far, so good? Not quite. What did we say we always have to have at an open end? A node. What do we have at a closed end always? An anti-node. This is not an anti-node. So as it turns out, a tube that's open at one end cannot have the second harmonic. Let's go on to the third harmonic. Let's have anti-node, node, anti-node, node. Node here, node here. And this is fine. Let's go to the fourth harmonic. If it's a quarter wave resonator, then we should be able to have a whole wave in here. So we have node, antinode, node, antinode, node. We have a problem, Houston. We cannot have a node at a closed end. So it is no fourth harmonic. Not possible. As it turns out, if we keep doing this, we will find that you can't have an even harmonic with a tube that's closed at one end. To review. Closed ends of a tube are always pressure antinodes. Open ends of a tube are always pressure nodes. For a tube closed at one end, the frequency of any harmonic is NV over 4L, where N is the harmonic number, V is the speed of sound in air, and L is the length of the tube. Only odd harmonics are possible. When using end correction, add 0.61R to L for the open end, which gives us length with end correction is L plus 0.61R. The frequency of any harmonic then is NV over 4LEC, and only odd harmonics are possible. The wavelength of any harmonic is 4L over N, the frequency of any harmonic is n times f1. Only odd harmonics are possible.